So X is uh, K Polish table. If so, this is only one that if uh, bit invariant is positive uh, for every G invariant, uh, the matter E over X. So this is only one error, but uh, in most of cases it works very well. So, for example, you take the typical example, and you take PM, and uh, you take G, and you basically G n plus one. And in this case, you don't have uh, G invariant dividers at all. So, this condition of one is very satisfying. So, uh, this influence. Uh, for stable, and maybe the final remark. Um, yeah. So, uh, final remark that uh, instability is the same as the point stability and final talk. So it turns out that uh, this condition being K poly stable is very nice condition for Pana to to form a good modeling space. And uh, basically, uh, once we have that, this is a uh, uh, big severance. So many people put it in their own, and uh, basically using this approach, you can now ask a uh, question how to come basically to study. Table stable uh, harmonics and to describe explicitly the model space. So, uh, for the two dimensional harmonics, which will be the type surfaces, this was done uh, by Adaka Sputi and Sun several years ago. And for three dimensional smooth harmonics, which are classified, uh, the first step in this direction uh, was done in a big collaborative project with uh, uh, many, many, many people who find this uh, online. Uh, web page called the uh, Calabi uh, problem for smooth panel triple. And basically, we determine all families of smooth panel triple. So, as a general uh, member of this family, is a So, this is the initial uh, step for basically for, to describe the K modeling for them. Because basically, you can think of this result as when K modeling exists and when they don't. But the next step is simplification. So, uh, <coughs> How to describe them quite obviously. And uh, let me just give one example of application of this criterion, which I'm going to use later. Uh, so, basically, just to show you that everything is written here, it's very, very explicit. You can really uh, check this uh, by hand. So, let's answer the example. You take the string, you take a plane cubic curve, then two, and you blow it up. To blow up the and then uh, we can actually check explicitly. It's not hard to compute bit invariant in this case. You can check its exponent. So it means this x is uh, k unstable. K unstable basically means not k unstable. Here's one example. Let me have another example here, very similar. Uh, you can actually uh, go further. You can take B uh, and blow up a point uh, in X. This X. Yeah, take some yeah. Yeah. And uh, such that the image of this point in P3 is not contained in the plane which contains the plane cubic curve. And uh, then you take, for example, this exception divided E move it to the B. And you can check. Uh, again, this is again uh, negative. So these are both uh, and stable. And one can check, of course, that this is a final triple. This is a final triple uh, number 228. It's an element of the family 228. So, for example, if you want to find the description of all families of smooth final triples, I suggest, suggest to Google uh, phonography. Yeah, 
Я сам уверен, что фрамори купай. Я сам уверен, что фрамори купай, потому что это very nice actually web page. То есть, например, для вас, я вижу, мне нужно сделать double check, some some explicit description of some properties of smooth manner. Three fold, I go, I went to the book, I use the book proper of Liskovsky, Banner, Panamare. But now it's actually much easier to just open this web page and it has very nice detailed information about each family of Panas Riffles. The first letter is basically around the picard group and this is just a, just a number yeah, in the cookie. And uh, this is uh, another one which I uh, remember, but I will Okay, so uh, what we're going to do in this book? So, so we have 105 deformation families of smooth spinal cycles. Uh, out of them, out of them, 26 families has no uh, capable stable methods. No uh, capable stable. Actually, even case is stable. So for them, uh, basically, we cannot even think about contracting the same modulum. Uh, space, yeah, and for, for the remaining one, for the remaining one, uh, for uh, remaining 28 families, uh, oh, we, <laughs> one family, family 226, it's LC, it works in the second. For the remaining 78 families, uh, which the general memory is capable of stable. But some of them has uh, K, uh, not K polystable members as well, which I explicitly described. And this family is very special. It actually has two members. This, this family has two, exactly two uh, three folds. So it's zero dimensional family, which consists of two components. So one of them is actually K unstable. And uh, another one is K semi-stable. So in some sense, you can construct the model in this case. You can take this k semi stable guy and uh, take its limit, which is going to be k poly stable, but it's going to be simple. Yeah. And uh, this is this family. It's a block of triple called V five in the line. And uh, because V five automorphism group is PJ two, you can see that basically uh, family of lines are up to the action of automorphism group can, can contains two two lines. So one is with a good normal bundle and another with the uh, asymmetric normal bundle. Okay, <clears throat> so once uh, the, basically this project was completed, we for all zero dimensional families we know exactly which are the polystable, which are not. So the, the next step is consider one dimensional family where we have one parameter. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me slow it down. So, K model. Okay, so uh, basically, we know a lot of uh, results about K model uh, explicitly, quantification of uh, K, K model for smooth final treatment. Let me just give you an example. Basically, this question only makes sense for the 78 minutes. Okay, so let me just examples. Uh, for example, the, probably the most uh, interesting example is the cubic circle chain one, and then by result of uh, you chain merge and young sum. Uh, cubic circle uh, case a poly stable. 
it's a uh, JT stable to the action of the PGF file. And the limits, capable stable limits of cubic three faults are all cubic three faults, and the all singularities explicitly described in uh, the paper. So this is basically a typical example. Model space is very large, and the solution is very uh, explicit. And uh, for example, uh, similar, uh, similar. So this is familiar one step here. Uh, similar but more complicated description can be done by. You can can attach a crystal the uh, ring if you take a double cover of P3 ramified in a quartic curve. Then it's a bit uh, more complicated, but still nice description by Yu Chen. Okay. This is all families with a lot of uh, uh, moduli. Uh, moduli. Uh, big dimension. So basically, in the rest, remaining part of my talk, I'm going to talk about on a three fields with one dimensional model. Actually, information about dimension of model can be found on this web page uh, on Oberfe. It has a lot of information about automorphism groups, about dimension of the model space. You can just click and you see, you can rank them by, by the dimension. So now oh, we're going to change modeling. Uh, one parameter can of uh, smooth funds. Okay, so basically, there are exactly eight families. Let me start with families which I already described. The two twenty eight blow up. Of P3 in a plane cubic curve. It's plane cubic curve has one dimensional model, so this is one of them. They are not uh, K, uh, even semi stable, so we don't need to consider. Another one, it's this family, 315. We don't need to consider it's not K polystable, not even K, not, uh, not K semi stable. And then six more families 222, uh, 224. 225, uh, 312, uh, 313, and the fourth. Okay, so basically, uh, this is a let me say this is a collaboration project. So we are in, in January, just basically when most of COVID restriction in the UK was removed, uh, but still uh, not all. Uh, we organized uh, small research and groups project in London, actually London Mathematical Society. We got some small grants from Hill Brown Institute and uh, for four people and four PhD students. So it's basically uh, Hamid Mudinijev, who is now Hamid Abban, uh, me, uh, Anna Sophie Kolagiris, and uh, this is Martin Garcia. And uh, for our students, okay, uh, let me write students' names here. So, Roche at Sabari Alberti. So, Hamid student, Alena Denisova, my student, and uh, Don Chenjao, uh, Anna Safi student, this is student, and Theo Papa Zaharyov, uh, his student. So we rent a room in the London Mass Society, but because still some COVID, post COVID things, the whole London Mass Society building was empty. Usually it's a lot of workshops and it's very busy, and we, got a, we rented a small room, but uh, they gave us the whole house Victorian house in the center of London, <laughs> and uh, all for ourselves. So this was actually, and we spent the one week, it was actually a very beautiful week. Uh, very nice, and uh, the goal was basically to uh, kind of help our students meet each other, work together, which is actually very, I think it's a good thing, 
So, for example, uh, uh, here now in this room, there are three PhD students, four of PhD students, Professor Shakurov, who studied at the same time, Florian Ambra, Jihun Park, and me. And I remember when I was, I think, in the year four, uh, Professor Shakurov, uh, we went for a dinner with, uh, maybe, with his students, and Professor Shakurov strongly suggests me and Jihun to work together. He just said, you guys have to work to get on some problems. And uh, after this, we spent a couple of weeks to discuss what should we solve. And uh, then we wrote a paper, which is actually eventually, after many years, resulted in a proof of uh, capable stability of every smooth quartic signal, a modular result of Kent of Fujita. But at that time, we didn't know about this, so we approved something different, but it was the same. Um, so what I want to say that uh, Professor Shakurov also influenced case stability a little bit in indirect way. <laughs> so we decided uh, basically to, so, so our students also kind of meet each other, maybe work together, and actually it's also fun. And uh, also uh, three of uh, three of students, Eroshi, uh, Lenin's, and Don Chan, they're actually first year students, so they basically just started. So for them, it wouldn't be like a school, so it was sort of educational project. So we just took all these families, and uh, at that time, uh, the general existence, uh, K-poly stability of general member of this family, of, actually of every smooth member of this family, except few, basically complete solution for K-poly stability for smooth members, was done for almost, for all uh, three faults, uh, in, in, for smooth three faults. So it was already done. So the question actually was just to point out the singular limit. But this is a one dimensional parameter space and it's actually rational. So basically we're talking about, you have P1 without few points in most of cases, actually one point or two points. And you just need to fill the remaining points in P1 with a singular member. Okay, so uh, it was like, uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, it was an interesting problem and we, we saw that for every, Family except uh, this one. For this one, the uh, model is going to be P1 without smooth members. It's going to be P1 without two points. One point is actually easy to fill using computer. If you Google another thing, if you Google JRGB, graduate ring database, it's a very nice database uh, created by Al Kasperchik, uh, Gavin Brown, and uh, Miles. Where you can, for example, go to the Tory case and you can put uh, discrete invariants for this family, uh, like uh, Picard uh, rank uh, three, degree 28. And if you click and you see that there's exactly one Toric uh, K poly stable threefold, uh, which is uh, in the obtains the deformation of this one. <laughs> yeah. And uh, for Toric uh, varieties, uh, K poly stability, fun varieties, K poly stability basically means uh, that polytop uh, is very center, very center of poly. Uh, Polytop is zero. Yeah, so one point uh, in P1 we immediately found, but the second one uh, we're still looking. We got a lot of candidates, and every time we found a nice candidate, we was very happy, but then we proved that it's okay, unstable. So, okay, so let me, in the remaining part of my talk, basically describe all the families, all the six families one by one, and describe the answer. And it's uh, and and also show you why they really uh, one dimension. So let us go in an alphabetical order to twenty one and up to uh, almost alphabetical. I'll put this three thirteen uh, the last. Yeah, 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 it's it's all good. Sinyank is my next one. Ask Sinyank after the Yeah, it's a good model. Yeah. But in this case, basically, it's going to be so uh, let me. This absolutely okay. So some uh, families are very easy, and uh, basically they help to be uh, to prove the K poly stability is relatively easy. So, for example, take family. Uh, ah, this is a nice family. This is not so easy. Two twenty two. Actually, uh, smoothness, uh, uh, capable stability for smooth members was done by me and Jehovah. Uh, 
uh, which will be seen in Edinburgh uh, in October, first visit after COVID. Yeah, so we, we worked on this family and uh, I'll just describe it a little bit. So you will take this again and you take quartic curve, smooth quartic curve, curve to the before, and uh, you just blow it up. You blow up. So this is this is this is the thing. Uh, how to see is that it's not one, one parameter family, basically how to see the geometry of the same. Uh, so uh, first of all, one can show that uh, this guy is contained in a unique uh, quadric circle. Yeah, and let's choose coordinate. So this surface is unique. You can choose coordinate is a UV, and this is a XY. Then it's actually very nice uh, exercise to show that this curve and this quadric are given by the uh, following equation. So we take QX, Q plus A, X square Y equal uh, E, Y, Q plus B, Y square uh, X, where A, B some numbers. Okay, but now we can go further. We can actually do the following thing. So first, if uh, A, B not zero, okay, no, let me, let's do that. If A is zero and B not zero, then we can scale coordinate a little bit and we basically can assume that B is one. Uh, second case, okay, absolutely similar case. Uh, you have uh, A not zero, B is zero, then you assume that A is one. And then uh, you have other case, if A and B not zero, or if they both are zero, then you can assume that they're equal. And this is this is this is your parameter space, and this is to basically one special guy. So this is special guy. So this guy is not a poly. And actually, the reason why, because if it were, you can see by scaling of parameters, and you can have one uh, as a trivial degeneration to this case where a and b are zero, and in this case we prove that all of them are k poly stable. So it means that this cannot be since scale poly stable, stable limit is unique. This guy cannot be stable. But it's case semi which is also fully stable, except uh, the case, uh, except the case A not equal plus minus B. Why? Because in this case, this guy is actually isomorphic. And uh, there's a special case when A is uh, not equal to plus minus one, because in this case, it's actually symbolic. But this similar case, this curve splits as a union of conic and two lines. Yeah. Okay. So this is very explicit description of smooth members, which complete solution, which are capable stable, which are not. And now we should just can ask the question: what is the capable stable limit? And I, I think you can all guess the, the answer. What are the symbol of capable stable? So basically, this is A. A is a parameter space. It's not a modular. To get a modular, you need to take a quotient by some uh, group. I think in this case it's S3. And you have special points. You have this point one, uh, minus one, three, uh, minus three, infinity, yeah, zero. So zero is a point where automorphism group uh, becomes infinite. Yeah, so this two points, this two points, they are filled by zero. Because they, in the case a plus minus three, uh, this triple is isomorphic to this triple, but this triple has a trivial degenerate to the triple which is uh, with a zero in this case. So this point is still this. So basically, you can see the group as three acts on the Yeah, so the question is what to, what should we feel, which, which limit should we take for this case? This case, this case, you can easily see that the, the limit is three. So basically, up to the quotient by the uh, symmetric group of uh, order six, uh, this is one point. So now let's just, let's just guess. So uh, any any PhD students, what which limit should we take? So you you may let me help you. You may assume a 
and we're looking for the case a equal so when a goes to plus minus one or infinity doesn't matter and we want to get a hyperly stable limit so we just and we just make a to be this <laughs> you get a singular three fits it get two ordinary double point okay the question is why it's hyperly stable but this is actually another story so we could so basically, the limit is very simple. Just have this family and, and take the limit. And that's, that's easy. in this case, it's easy to do. Okay. But uh, to prove that the limit is here, it takes, takes some time, basically using the uh, related criteria and some additional result by uh, basically corollary of salary developed, developed by Hamid uh, Aban and uh, Zikman Jo. So using this stuff, this is we prove. So this is this is this. So this is this. Yeah. Let me. So now let's go to the two twenty four. Two twenty four is actually fun. Uh, two twenty four should be included into the second edition of my third book. In uh, my third book on uh, uh, integrated algebraic geometry, there's a section uh, on on pencil of conics. Which is usually included in any uh, most of books in algebraic geometry. Yes, uh, but when we study pencil of conics, the next step is to study net of conics, so two dimensional. Mm -hmm. So this is exactly two things. So this is net of conics. Let me explain what this is. So basically, x is divided into two plus two, uh, all degree one to. Yeah, so if you choose coordinates is x, one, z, and choose coordinates u, v, w, then and you will assume f, x is smooth. Smoothness is crucial in the previous as well. Then you can show that uh, you can change coordinate such that x is given by the following equation. So basically, one of the columns is you take x times u squared plus lambda w. Plus d squared plus lambda u w plus uh, plus uh, z times w squared plus lambda u uh, u yeah we lambda is a parallel and uh, such that lambda u is not minus one because otherwise it's going to be singular yeah lambda is yeah. Okay, and uh, this is one option. And absolutely like in the previous paper, what you can do, uh, so in classification, you basically can put here three different parameters, say lambda one, lambda two, lambda three. So if all of them are non zero, or if all of them zero simultaneously, you can actually scale and make them equal. But <clears throat> if one of them is not zero and another two are zero, so you, can, you, you can basically scale only one, make it equal to one, and the remaining parts will be zero. So you have so you have two special guys. One guy is basically given by this equation. So you, you make this equal to zero, and uh, this is one. Yeah, and finally, third guy. Okay. So this. Uh, to uh, not be uh, fully stable. And uh, all of this, all including the singular members, uh, K poly stable. So this gives complete answer and basically in this case, this is smooth and uh, yeah. Again, this is not parameter space. To get parameter space, you need to quotient by some additional. Uh, to get this parameter space, it's not a model. You need to get a model to quotient. Yeah. And actually, this example, I think it's a very nice uh, illustration to show why we need this k k poly stability. So if you just uh, describe smooth triples in this way. You can see that this form a nice model space, but this one, the limits of this one is this guy with lambda equal to zero. 
both of them can be as a trivially uh, generated to this uh, threefold with lambda equal to zero. So from modular space, you have to throw them away. But if you just have uh, the four case, case, case stability theory, it was not clear why you have to throw them away. They're also smooth, they're nice. Yeah. In this case, it's very simple also projectivization of stable vector bundle on P2. It can be found, for example, in the old paper of part. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, can you identify this about the GIT of the. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Of, of course, this is GIT uh, for PG2 times PG2. Of course. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is GIT for PG2 squared. PG3 squared. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so the second family is also done. Uh, third family, it's actually uh, very, very, even, even more simple, even more simple. Uh, okay. Uh, third family, it's a block of the three. In the elliptic quartic curve. And the answer, more or less, to people is stability in some sense is given in the classical uh, literature. So uh, you can be 2, 20, 5. So this is blow up of P3 in the quartic curve, but this is uh, elliptic. And uh, in this case, one can uh, show it's a good exercise that if you choose heat coordinate x, y, and z, t, that this uh, curve can be given by a uh, system of equation. And uh, lambda, if you want guys to be smooth, lambda should not equal plus minus one. Zero <coughs> and infinity. Yeah. Uh, okay, so but you can see this equation is very symmetric. It has a lot of uh, symmetries. So this final sample has a lot of symmetries. So basically, if you apply uh, this equivalent uh, a poly stability for some final group G, basically, which you can guess, yeah, you can just uh, multiply coordinates by plus minus one, and you can actually additionally change them a little bit. So you have some sort of dihedral group. And uh, if you use uh, the theory plus uh, basically plus nothing, plus some criterion like the alpha invariant criterion, then you can get that all of these guys, all smooth guys, are a fully stable uh, and actually stable. So all smooth guys stable in this family uh, are stable. Automorphism group is fine in this case. But what happens in the singular one? If you just uh, if you just take a limit, for example, take lambda to be zero. Now we need uh, some help of some PhD students. Okay, PhD students, what what happens? What would be the curve if you take lambda to be zero? Equations are written. X squared plus y squared equal to zero. Z squared minus t squared. Equal to is defined as curve, singular, singular elliptic curve. What is this curve? Okay. It's a full line like this. So this is a toric picture. So if you blow up curve like this, you get toric panovariety, uh, the generation of smooth one in this family. And uh, either you can just use graded ring database to see that this is k-poly stable, or you can basically adapt the proof of this. To this case, it works absolutely the same. So this is basically all your limit. Okay. No, 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 no. It's basically, imagine if you have a toric toro section in uh, P3, you immediately see four torus invariant points and you have tetrahedra. So basically, this gives you the uh, four four edges of tetrahedra. It's not not planet, not planet. Okay, so good. So this family is done. This is actually was the, the easiest one. Okay, let me before going to yeah, let me go oh, another one. Three, three twelve. 
Are you sure you cannot use this word? No? Okay, good. So uh, let me erase the first one. Uh, no, I want to keep the first one. Uh, let me erase second. How much time do I So next family, uh, 312. It's actually nice, nice family. You take uh, this here, and you take here a cubic curve, and you take here a lot. Uh, essentially, it is joint. And you blow up that. Okay, so uh, again, uh, one can show that this cubic curve is just parameterized by, say, one uh, lambda, lambda squared, lambda cube, you fix cubic curve, and then you can show that L can be chosen basically by uh, this uh, curve of x0 x1 x3, then x0 equal a x1, x3 equal b x2. This you can always do. This is basically linear algebra. And then you have few possibilities. First possibilities A uh, not zero, B not zero, or A is zero, B is zero. Then in this case, you may assume that A will be a scale tower, A will be, and this is your parameter. Yeah. Or A is not zero, say B. Is zero, then you can assume that a equals one, f o a is zero, b not zero, then you may assume uh, uh, b is one. Yeah. So, very similar picture. So, these two guys, I the trivial degenerate to so this guy with a equals zero. So, this one is and the basically show that this is not, if you blow up uh, this cubic curve and this line given by this equation. Uh, your safe of x and the not k for this. And but this is. Okay, in this case, you have to uh, avoid some values of parameters as usual. So you assume k should not equal to plus minus one because in this case, your line going to intersect your cubic curve. <clears throat> and a not equal plus minus three because in this case, uh, this configuration is going to be isomorphic to this configuration. So your parameter space basically is just A. Yeah. And you have few points which just plus minus one, uh, plus minus three. And uh, this parameter space, if you change A to minus A, it's actually going to be isomorphic. This is actually one point. And then you have infinity. Yeah. And then you have a special guy, uh, zero. Zero is where your automorphism group is infinite. So this point. Fill this this way. So this this is this. Yeah. And one can show that if you have plus minus one or lambda, this is also the same. But uh, limit is you cannot just take a to be plus minus one because in this case uh, this deformation will not lift to deformation of x. So now basically, uh, okay, I will just give you the answer. In this case, you fix L and you degenerate cubic curve. Uh, C3 as a union of three lines. Yeah. And you blow up, you have a threefold. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be generation of smooth members in the same direction. And it's going to have two ordinary double points. And this is K polystable. It's called K polystable. And this fills this, this three points. Oh no, this this okay, okay, good. So uh this is it. And uh here we have two families left. Let me one family is actually very similar to this one. Very similar. So this is why I decided to keep 
perspective. So it's a family who I decided to skip 313, which is 413. So you take P1 plus P1 plus P1. And you take a curve of degree 1, 1, 3. So if you take this and you blow, this is your family. So if you project this triple to the first two coordinates, you will see that this curve project to diagonal. So curve for degree one, one. So if you lift this diagonal to X, you get a quadric surface. Diagonal in a, uh, one, two, projection to the first two coordinates. So this is a quadric. One, one. And uh, you can see this in this quadric by definition. And this is one curve of degree one, three in this quadric. So it's degree one, three in this quadric. So basically, we're in this situation. If you choose here, coordinate you here, x, y, this is the equation of your curve, and you can just repeat that. And limits are the same, everything is the same. So it's very similar family to 220. And the, the answer is the same. You don't even need to change it. So basically, it's a modulus space of twisted, uh, of uh, quartic curves, basically, in, in the quadrant, of, of curve degree one, three in the quadrant. Okay. And then uh, I have very few minutes, three minutes left. And let me tell you the family, which is very nice. It's actually among the families, my favorite. Family. But uh, we don't know complete answer in this case. So maybe. Uh, you can help us to find the missing point in the model. Maybe if someone gets some ideas. Yeah. Family is very nice. You can actually also teach a, a linear algebra class using this family. You take a complete intersection in P2 cross P2. Oh, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm not. So if you have hit ordinate X, Y, Z. Yeah, it's a X complete intersection of uh, three divisors of degree one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, one. So basically, it means X can be given by this system of equations. Uh, where am I? Uh, three by three matrices. Um, non degenerate matrices such as determinant is not zero. And also, determinant of the symmetric parts are not zero. Which is smoothness condition. Okay, so it's not uh, immediate to see that this is one dimensional family, but you can see that you can change coordinate x, y, z, and you can make, for example, these two matrices to be ident identity. So basically, you can simplify this. By changing the coordinates to x transform m, for example, this, y transform z, this, and the x transform. And now the question is how to simplify, and you have remaining three by three matrix. The question is how to simplify this, but now you don't use the full change of variables. You basically use PJ2. If you think about it, you're using PJ2. Uh, to simplify that. So the question is you have a three by three matrix M and you want to simplify it in this way uh, using three by three matrix. Uh, but M is not symmetric. If M is symmetric, you can make it to be identity, but it's not symmetric. So basically, you split it in symmetric and anti symmetric parts. Symmetric part, you can take any like identity or any other conic uh, which you like. And uh, the question is what to do with symmetric part. So basically, I just tell you the answer for M. For example, you can get if you wish. You have, for example, you can get this answer. S is exactly a parameter of non symmetric part. Yeah. And S different for uh, plus minus one and infinity. Or you have a renegade 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 minus. Uh, and I don't have. Uh, time left, but what I want to say is that in this case, automorphism group of your three for the C star semi direct product with S3, 
And unless S is zero, the semi-direct product is not a product, it's not direct product. And in this case, automorphism group is actually GA. Uh, okay, let me put C plus semi-direct with the S3 again. So this guy is not K-poly stable. Uh, and you can immediately see it degenerate to this guy as a trivial when S is zero. So it's K-semi-stable. K and all of this are K, all of this are K-poly stable. This gets okay, what is it? And S is a parameter. So we have three points basically in the model S plus minus one, missing and infinity. But if you change S to minus F, it's an isomorphic triple. So this is a one point. This is a toric point. But infinity, we don't know. Okay, that's it. Yes, sir.